lot of people will look at Bridge IT as a technology program, but we can sometimes get infatuated with the technology. At the end, this is an education program that is using technology to get some things done. So frankly, the technology piece here is to make things more efficient and, and cost effective. The idea of Bridge IT, in fact, was, was really conceptualized out of education, content, the mobile phone and delivering that content through the mobile phone. The way it functions is that all videos will be, you know, in a central place, which, you know, happens to be here in Dar es Salaam, uh, in one of the Vodacom switches. And then each of our schools, you know, they have these phones, N95 phones, and, you know, with a catalogue of all videos. Then the teacher would go and you know download the you know the clip that she wants or he wants, and then that video will be you know delivered to that particular phone instantly, and then the teacher should be able to teach you know by using these videos by connecting the phone into a TV that you know is placed on front of the classroom. <laughs> Mfumo wa homoni hudhibiti matendo mbalimbali mwilini kama vile ukuaji na utoaji takamwili. Mfumo wa homoni pia huitwa mfumo wa endocrine. Hii ni tezi ya pituitary. Science is a basic issue in terms of development especially in Africa because we have a lot of challenges in terms of teachers, inadequate teachers, a lack of adequate teaching and learning materials. So it, it really helps the quality of the teaching itself and it really contributes towards uh, the quality of learning. The pupils are very interested in the Bridge IT lessons because they're going through a process which makes them interested in what is being taught. The, the video actually showed the really things, for example, people going to the market and they see various, various features, for example, mountains, they see the snow, so they like it very much. Hello, Vanessa. Hiki sasa. Hiki ni sana gram miambiri hamsini. Waona? Kilo moja ni gram gap. Ni gram F moja. Sasa kilo moja na nusu. Kwa sababu, pali kwenye kitabu, unangalia tu, afu mwalimu wana kuelezea. Ukija hapa ndani, unaelezewa, pali ile TV na kuelezea vizuri, ikisha kuelezea, unangalia live. The pedagogical approach of the Bridget program in Tanzania has three main aspects. The first one is media integration through the inclusion of video content. The second is collaborative group work. The third is gender responsive pedagogy because that is an issue that the Ministry of Education as well as educators in Tanzania have pinpointed as a key issue affecting students throughout the country. In the, the social construction in Africa, with these inequalities among the, the gender inequalities, and with the socialization process that the girls and boys go through, the girl is always given the role of being inferior to the boys. Not only in the home, in the classroom, at the workplace, and so on. So if there are little ones, they are sitting in the class and they see a girls in the video, they start knowing that, ah, I, I, can, also, I can also do this. One of, of the golden chance to have this opportunity, because as, as, as a, it is the first to, to, to appear in Africa, so I think it, it, it will be a learning ground for other countries in Africa. The general uh, feedback that we are getting, be it from teachers, students, and district education officers is quite positive. Kids in Bridge IT schools, you know, are very motivated into science and math. And we are told in some other places, you know, even, you know, the level of truancy kids who were not attending schools, you know, it's reversed a little bit. The Bridge IT program is very good because it's targeting the quality of education. And it's going as far down as the primary school level, because that is where the foundation is really done. So if these young people can come out of the education system properly prepared, 
from the education point of view, then they have a better chance of moving on in life.